Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. Last time on the Just Ended Season 2, Part 5, on the sexual demons, we focused on the immoral sin of the flesh, which was fornication, the subtitle, and we talked about the rebellious and the resistance, the ignorance and arrogance of fornication inside the flesh. And we explained how arrogant and ignorant fornication is inside the flesh. And today we want to get into season 2, chapter 6, where we want to talk about the captivation and the manipulation under lust. And in this dimension, we want to focus on the homosexual demons, the gays and lesbians and bisexuals. So people of God, for us to understand more on part six in season two, let's get into scriptures. Romans chapter one, verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. But what started before they dishonored their own bodies to rebel against God way before they failed to heed to the instructions of God by being rebellious against the Lord that had created them was to dishonor their own bodies to dwell inside the lust of the flesh. The flesh that God had given them is the one that started working against them and lust was used inside that equation to become a catalyst of sin. So in that setup that God had already created, that male and female were going to join their flesh to be productive to multiply and to fill up the earth. Lucifer came with an opposite agenda. The very moment that God said, it is not right for a man to be alone. And then he created a woman for the man. Lucifer then came with not just an agenda of causing sin that dwells inside the flesh, but to also make the creation that had been created by God to dishonor its own bodies. And by not only dishonoring their own bodies, they were rebelling against the commandment of God, which was the commandment which unified the marriage of male and female. But I want you to know that in all this, the spirit of lust operated as the forerunner. So I'm going to be explaining to you how the spirit of lust operates, ushering and being the forerunner of the homosexual demons and how they operate inside the flesh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and saved the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Saving the creature more than the creator is when men bow to the lust of their flesh and they worship that which they see in the physical instead of that which they cannot see, which is ought to be worshipped, which is the invisible God. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts. So it had to begin with the 
the last of their own heart to the level that male on their own, males on their own, they started to lust for one another. But I need to explain what happened for a man to start lusting for another man when he had been given a woman by God. There's a disorder there that happened in the spirit people of God. I explained in the previous season one on sexual demons, how spiritual husbands fell from heaven. Those were angelic beings that were given the capability to enter inside bodies alongside spiritual wives. And in this setup, if a spiritual wife enters inside the, the body of, of a male and another spiritual husband enters inside the body of another male, we have a marriage of a male and a female set up in the spirit. But in the physical, we have a contrary manifestation or representation of two sex in fact two similar sex in the physical and these two meet and have sexual intercourse that is not ordained by god two similar sexes in the physical having sexual intercourse and that is also the same setup again when two females meet in the physical and one female body is possessed by a spiritual husband another body feels that capability of a man and it doesn't last for a male body but it lasts for a female body because the spirit that will be dwelling inside the body of that female would be a spiritual husband. So the works of homosexuality are enhanced by the spirit of lust. They are also enhanced by spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. Spiritual wives entering into male bodies and spiritual husbands entering into, fe into female bodies to cause a disorder of the male and the female that are supposed to meet in the physical, join their flesh and multiply because there is no multiplication and, and productivity inside homosexuality. And it's just a scene that is done just to rebel against God. For it's more than just a sin, but a rebellion against God. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections because of their rebelliousness. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. When one changes the natural use into that which is against nature, it means she is going against it the natural use that was designed by God, which means if a woman is supposed to lust for a man, she ends up having lust for another woman. And by so doing, she has gone beyond the natural use of what was designed by God in the first place. And likewise, also men living in the natural use of women bent in their lust for one another. Men against men working that which is shameful and receiving unto themselves the era thereof. So I want you to understand that also in the case of men, they also end up burning in desires and lusts for one another. Not because it's inside their heart, but because God has allowed it to be because of rebelliousness. Every sin that enters inside the body, which are sins like fornication, which I explained in chapter 5 of season 2, it goes to 
work against the flesh. But homosexuality goes an extra mile, not only to work against the flesh, it's just a sin, but to rebel against the laws and commandments of God. It actually rebels against the covenant that God created between male and female. So homosexuality is a higher ranked iniquity above adultery and fornication because I've heard so many people trying to compare these two. Yes, of course, these two are both sins that are found inside the human flesh, but homosexuality goes an extra mile of not only becoming a sin, but a rebellion against God. And in Matthew chapter 5, verse 28, it says, I say unto you that whosoever looks at a woman to lust after he has committed adultery with her, not only with her, but already inside his own heart. So the issues of lust have to begin from the heart. When one was lasting for a woman inside his heart, he ends up lasting for a woman in the spirit. So the whole thing begins in the spirit. The whole mystery begins in the spirit. For if one was lasting for a woman inside his heart, and if a spiritual wife enters inside that male body, he starts to last for another man with the same dimension of captivity and a lust. He ends up lasting for a similar sex, but in the spirit, there will be two different spirits, a spiritual wife and a spiritual husband that will be operating, connecting in the spirit before homosexuality is nominated in the physical. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary against one another, so that you cannot do the things that you wish. If you can no longer do the things that you wish because the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, it means there is a form of captivity. There is a form of manipulation that will be happening whereby one becomes a gay or lesbian against their own rights. Even though they have created the rights of gays and lesbians in this world, I can assure you that there are gays and lesbians out there that are involved in this type of rebellion against God, that are involved in this type of sinful activity, but they are captivated and manipulated because it's against their own will. Because as much as some do it for money only, but there are those that do it unwillingly because they are being subjected by a force inside their flesh. And the last captivates their bodies to the extent that one male goes through the pain of being made a woman by another man, not because he is willing, but because he has been forced into that subjection of being made a woman. And same applies to another female that is subjected to sleeping with another female. All those are levels of manipulation and of course, there is a level whereby it's not just manipulation and captivity, whereby one is elevated into homosexuality. Because he or she will be willing. And there are those that are born natural with a disorder of having male and female characteristics inside their bodies. I want to assure you that these spirits have entered into the human flesh whilst 
men and women were inside the wombs. So people, I want you to understand that spirits have the capability of entering inside your body while you are inside the womb of your mother. And when you are born with a disorder, the world will call it natural, but it's not natural. Just as the scripture has explained earlier, that they went against nature. These are the spirits that we are talking about here. The homosexual demons that are inspired by the spirit of lust inside the flesh. Now the works of the flesh that are made manifest, part of them are adultery, fornication, which are the ones that we explained in season one of sexual demons, and uncleanliness. Uncleanliness now comprises of all manner of immoral activities brought together. And uncleanliness in quotations, that's where you also find homosexuality. It's also there. Is explained that homosexuality is a higher ranked sin, an actual rebellion against God, which is above adultery and fornication, because we have heard people trying to compare these sins so that they justify homosexuality. Of course, there is no sin that is justified, but homosexuality is more than just a sin, but a rebellion before God. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. All that is not of the Father, but of this world and of the devil. Let not sin reign inside your mortal bodies, that you should obey its lusts. There should be some form of obedience that one heeds or gives to lust. And as is explained before that, there are levels of manipulation and captivation. And there is a level also in the spirit that one actually chooses to obey these lusts of the flesh. And I explained to you earlier that one would actually choose to be a homosexual, a gay or lesbian. And I explained also the foundation of those that are born with seemingly natural disorders but they are not natural because these are spirits that entered into them before they were born and some of these are bisexuals so you can't tell whether it's a female or male in the physical but in the spirit there will be either a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband that will be operating and what did that homosexual demon then does being inspired by spiritual husbands and spiritual wives in the spirit of lust being the forerunner I had is there just to break the commandment of God which joins the male and the female just to rebel against that covenant that God created as I explained earlier I speak after the male